All right, so we are doing the Just Text Me module uh, from our book. So first thing, <clears throat> first things first, we gotta do the shebang line, which I know half of you don't remember. Well, most of you probably don't remember what a shebang line is. Yeah, I told you. Uh, shebang line is basically, uh, if you open this from the command line and make sure it opens it with the correct version of Python. But if you only have one version of Python on your computer, it's kind of like whatever. I've ran, when you uh, when we did Windows R and stuff, so uh, so we have the shebang line, and then this is just info to the to this is just info for when you open it. You got it. You want to do comments? If you guys have ever opened up a module like random and seen the comments, it explains everything. So if you do need to go in and change it, you're not like, what does this code do? It tells you you have a lot of comments and a lot of stuff that's commented out. So text myself dot py defines the text myself function that texts a message pass to pass to it as a string. And again this is in the book so if you guys get lost uh, you guys can just follow along in the book. Okay. Preset values. Uh, account SID equals. This is your guys's account. I'm obviously not going to put my information, so I'm just going to make one up. Uh, auth token. Now this is not a super secret, right? Don't use super secret alphanumeric. But this is like. <laughs> How was he supposed to know? <laughs> okay. Our common sense. Well, besides that, know. this coding is so specific that I just naturally assume that some stupid thing like that exists. This That's is like going to be your number. Forward. Exactly. So this is your cell phone number. One six six three zero. Four five five four five six five six. It is not my phone number because I'm not from around here, so my area code is different. It's from Michigan. Yep. So one six three zero nine eight seven nine eight seven seven. No, it's not. From on the house I grew up. Yeah. In the book, guys, again, an edit you need to make. This it says import Twilio REST client. It is not Twilio REST client. Now it is just client. Oh yeah, Josh had that problem. Yeah. So if you're going through the book, which none of you are. I was I am right now. Okay. Okay. If you have the book online, beautiful. Uh, if you have the physical book, you'll need to. Oh, okay. So I, Adam was in the way. You'll need to knock out or cross out Twilio REST because it's just client. Now, now that we've done this, all we got to do is do the function, and we're going to go define text myself. Uh, yes, Robert. Do we not have to do the Twilio apply equals client? We're not there yet. Oh. We have yet to finish the code. So we're going to go. Twilio Clyde. Now this can be whatever you want. This could be law like we're just following what the book says for now. So then we're gonna go client because I need to cross off Twilio rest. And then we're gonna go authentication SID or account SID and authentication token. Just like we did before, as if we're logging into <clears throat> If we're logging into our client, and then we're going to go or Twilio Cly dot messages dot create, and then we're going to go body equals message. Now, do you guys what I did that you guys understand what I did here? Why does body equal message, Robert? When you basically when you import this, when you import this, you'll already have created a variable, or you will create a variable called message, and in that message, you will just put uh, put the method or put the uh, message as string. So when you call this that message, it's the argument that uh, yep that function. 
you pass the message as a string before as you create when you import text myself and then you go text myself dot text myself message whatever you put as a parameter here uh, is what gets sent so we have body is message and then we have two oh no we do from first from equals what are we sending it from my number the twilio number twilio, twilio yep we're going to go twilio number and then and I'm going to separate this like this so it's a little easier to see and you're going to go two and what number obviously is going to be our, our cell number so <clears throat> wait so we're doing this so that we can just import it Yes, I have to do, so in order for this to work for me, I have to from info underscore Twilio import SID token Twilio num. And to make this easy on me, control X. So I should not be doing you should not be doing what I'm currently doing. You guys should just be chilling. Because in order, for, well, if I want, if you guys want to see how this works, I have to show you to you using my credentials, and I don't want any of you guys to know my stuff. So now, once you save this, you guys want to make this text myself. There's a very, very specific place you need to save this, and I'm only going to explain this once, so please pay attention. By default, it should open up to your app data local programs Python, Python 37 32. Is that true for everyone? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I hit something. But I can get into my. Okay. You need to get to this location. Sorry, I'm really falling behind. Is it Python 37-32? Yep. Should we run it Perfect. What? Wow. No, you should not be. You should be saving it and doing nothing else. Is this chapter 16? Yes. So you need to save it. Again, you want to go into your app data, local, programs, Python, Python 37-32. You want to go into lib with a capital L and to make sure this is the right folder, scroll down until you see uh, random because we want to save in the same place we do random so we can import it just like random. If you do that, you click save. And now if you close it and you restart your shell or whatever, or if you import text myself, and then you go text myself dot text myself. This is an example of creating our own module. And let's look at my phone. Got it. So now all you need to do in your code or in your final or anything, if you want to text yourself something, all you need are these two lines. You need to import text myself and then you need to type text myself dot text myself in the message you want to text. Pretty. No, if it's important, she can call the school. Got it. You shouldn't have answered in the first place. You just let it go to voicemail. So it says Twilio Pi is not defined for this. Twilio what? Did it work? So in your code. What did you get? Uh, so oh, recent. I added a P. No, we're good. Okay. What in the year I didn't actually record. So yeah, this is so. This is how you write your own module. And as long as you save it in that same location, you can import it. So now you can kind of see why when you open random or anything like that, you have all these from all this, from blah, 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 to blah, 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 do this, do that, import this, import that. Um, because you want to keep stuff secret or you are running a mother mo another module that you download. Uh, Michael. Yeah, 
Okay, so I fell behind when you were saying where to save it. Okay. And so I looked into the book, and I don't get what it's saying. It's like Python 34, but I don't have it. It should be 37 22. Do you know where do you know where random is saved? It's in that in lib. With a capital L? Yeah. Yes. So in there. In random or just in text? In lib. You don't want to save it in random. You want to save it as text myself in that same file or in that same directory. So what I want you guys to do, I won't necessarily make this homework over the weekend. You will have a little bit of time on Monday to work on it. Um, the quiz will be on Tuesday. It won't be, you guys probably don't need to freak out about it. That's all I'm saying, okay? Um, but what I want, because we only have one more chapter left, uh, and we have, let me take a look at the, at the calendar. Uh, we have next week and the week after that. So we have a quiz on Tuesday. We'll do a week of automation, a quiz right before on the second or third, or on the third, and then you guys will be able to start working on your final. Does that make sense? Everyone tracking with me? Okay, Michael, what's your question? Uh, it's saying multiple stages around the world. I'll deal with that later. I don't know. I'd have to look at your code. But <clears throat> what I want you guys to do today for the rest, for the next 10 minutes. And again, you will have some time to work on it Monday. So it's not technically like due on Monday. It'll be due Tuesday. What I want you guys to do is do the umbrella reminder on 385. Essentially what it's going, what? I'm not answering that question, Blake. You and Robert should be listening to me. And I get you're trying to fix your code. I heard what you said. If you're trying to fix your code, I get it, but there's also like a time where you should stop, listen to me, and then go back to your code. Or say, Mr. Schulter, I have an issue, can you wait a sec? And I'll probably say no, let me continue, yeah, and I'll come, and then I'll come over and help you. But now I can't come over and help you because I have to say stuff all over again because you're asking questions. So. <coughs> how do you test, watch, how do you test the umbrella? Well, let me, let, let me get through this. So on page 385, it's the umbrella reminder. What this is going to do is that it's basically going to check the um, weather, and if it's raining, it's gonna text you to take an umbrella. Yo. So, in this, we did not do the previous problem. It's not necessarily a problem. They walk you through it in the book on page 294 in chapter 11. You basically scan the website, the National Weather Service, and you plug in your um, area code. But it walks you through. I went through and it's on page 244 in the book. Uh, yeah, it walks you through using, yeah, for the National Weather Service. So it's right in there, you follow along and then I want you to take that and have it text you whether or not to take an umbrella or not. And I want it to say, if, if it's raining, take an umbrella, whatever text message you want. If it's not raining, say, have a good day. No need to, you know, or if you want to get a little more, if it's, you know, above 70, say it's going to be warm. If it's in between 40 and 60, take a jacket. And if it's cold, take, you know, bundle up. Hey, Siri. If it's negative 40, just I stay wait. inside. I wrote a code that's up there for Siri. Oh, that's awesome. What's that? But hang on, like, not right now. So. Oh, Siri. Oh yeah. Cool. Do you guys have questions? <clears throat> but it's not. It's cloudy. Wait, no, it isn't. Yes, Robert. Um, can I modify it slightly to tell me if it's raining at night? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I just want what I wanted to do is I wanted to look through the website, get the weather, and then text you information based on the weather. Um. And you guys have the rest of the hour. I, I'm going to come around and take a look at some of your guys' issues. I'll